Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 903. If you want to download this workbook, 901 to 904, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have a date and we need to get start of the month and end of the month date. Now we want to be able to type any date and get those two things delivered. This is a great trick. Sometimes you have financial statements or budgets or uh, other types of reports where you need from some input date, the start and end date. Now in 2003 and earlier, you had to do it um, in a, with a different method, different function than uh, 2007 or later. Now end, we're going to use the end of the month function for both start and end here, either 710 or if you have the analysis tool pack added in in earlier versions. And that was under the tools menu uh, add-ins. Now in 2003 and, and earlier, it wasn't that difficult. You could use the date function, and you build a date with the date function. We'll simply use the year, takes a serial number and finds the year. In this case, it'll deliver 2012. And then we say, hey, give me the month. It'll look up there, say it'll deliver a 4 to the date function, and then we simply type a 1. Doesn't matter what we type there now, it'll give us the beginning of the month. For end of the month, we do something similar. The year part is the same. Hey, give me the year that'll deliver 2012. Month, well, we use the month, but we amend it. We don't want four. We want to go to next month. So I'm going to add one. So this, instead of a four, I'll deliver a five. And the great thing about date is this day. You can type in positive numbers, negative numbers to go back, or Zero. Zero actually goes back because what is one? If I put a one here, it gives me the first of the month. If you start going backwards, zero, minus one, minus two, it goes backwards. So zero will give me the first day of the previous month. So this is five, one. By putting a zero, it will give me the last day in April, 430. Now in 2007 and early, uh, later versions, it's quite easy to use the end of month. All right, and so end of month, you give it some date. And the way this month arguments work is you could give it positive, zero, or negative. If you want the end of this month, you put a zero. If you wanted the end of next month, you put a one. So that's it. I mean, that's beautiful and simple. For start, We'll put our date right here. What do we want? We don't want this month. We don't want next month. We want last month. Now that gives me the last day in March, and I want the first day in April, so I simply add one back in. Now the great thing about any of these solutions and all of date math in Excel is it knows leap year, of course. So in this case, we type in 12 as a leap year of February, and we get the correct dates. All right, see you next trick.